This video will show you some tips and tricks to reading ebooks on Hoopla. To get started, click on Borrowed from the homepage. Notice the return countdown on the top of each item. This lets you know when the item will automatically be returned. The ebook we're looking at is clammed up. When you open the ebook, you'll be able to see what page you're on in the book and how many pages are left in the chapter at the bottom of the screen. Tapping or clicking on the middle of the screen brings up other view options in the top right corner. Click the screen again to hide them. Let's review what each icon does. The first icon is the magnifying glass. You can search for a specific word or phrase in the book. It works great if you're looking for a recipe in a cookbook. The second icon brings up lists. You can see the table of contents, your bookmarks, or any highlights you've made. Click on a chapter to jump to that chapter in the book, or click Done to go back to the page you're on. The third icon lets you change how the book looks on screen. You can change the brightness of the screen. You can choose a different font. You can make the text bigger or smaller. Notice how this changes the number of pages in the book. You can change the background color. You can change the spacing and margins. This also affects how many pages are in the book. You can change the text alignment. And finally, you can either display the book in one column or two columns, or make it so it's a vertical scrolling view, like an article on a web page. Each chapter becomes one page, and you don't click to turn the page, you just scroll down. The fourth icon is a bookmark. You don't need to bookmark where you left off in the book, but you can bookmark pages that you really enjoyed to come back to later. Another fun thing you can do with ebooks is highlight and make notes in them. You'll want to hold down on a word and drag your finger or mouse to highlight any other words. Click on the blue highlighted word to add a note or color. You can also use this to look up a word or phrase. Lastly, you can use this highlight function to search the book for more of that word or phrase. Swipe or tap the left side of the screen to go back a page. Swipe or tap the right side of the screen to turn the page. When you're done reading, click the center of the screen and then click on the X in the top left corner. Hoopla will remember where you left off when you want to read again. Thank you for watching this video. We hoped it helped you learn how to read ebooks with Hoopla. Please contact the library with any other questions. Have a great day.